Welcome back to A.L. Thompson's Home Fest, everyone. We're having a great time down here. We invite all of you viewers to come out to Home Fest today. Open till about 8 p.m. tonight, so you've got lots of time to get down here and do some shopping and also see all of these wonderful things that A.L. Thompson's has to offer for your home. Right now, we're going to be talking to one of the reps that's here, one of the 50 reps that's down here uh, for the A.L. Thompson's Home Fest right now. We have Robert Gonzalez joining me from Sub-Zero and Wolf. Robert, thank you for being here. My pleasure. Good morning, Janelle. Good morning. Sub-Zero and Wolf are known for the level of quality that you have in your appliances. Um, so the first thing I want to know is how long have you been partnering with A.L. Thompson's to bring that level of quality here to the Cayman Islands? Well, we've been fortunate to enjoy the warm hospitality of the Thompson family uh, for going on almost 20 years. Uh, and it's always great to enjoy the uh, hospitality of this particular country mm. uh, and your great food and beaches. So yes. <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah, it's not hard to convince people to come down to Cayman. No, it's not still, a tough trip. Glad to have you guys here because, um, like we say, you know, people in Cayman um, really do have high expectations and really good um, style. So we're looking for top quality products. So Sub Zero and Wolf is a good fit for we, us here. We fit the bill, definitely. Um, so tell us, what are some of the new products that you've introduced? Well, we're actually, Chef Jeremy is going to be uh, running. Uh, through the pace is our latest uh, professional range products that we've recently introduced. Uh, we'll also be showing our new induction range uh, product, which is basically a, a professional range, but it works uh, with electric uh, versus gas. Okay. So it's a great alternative if somebody doesn't have access to gas. Very, very efficient. Mm. Uh, we're also uh, introducing our newest oven products with the Wolf Gourmet modes, okay. uh, which will allow you to uh, do quite a bit of uh, automated or unattended cooking mm -hmm. with great results and we'll be showing that off all weekend. Very so, nice. Enjoying so our time. I'm going to spend some time around here to see if I can, you know, make some friends with people who are buying some of your new appliances and hang out there and have some of the Excellent. delicious food that will come out of it. We we'll look um, forward to it. <laughs> um, so remind us what products Jeff Sh Jeremy is going to be using. Um, he's going to be working, obviously, uh, all the fresh uh, products are coming out of our, our Sub-Zero uh, refrigeration systems. Mm. Uh, Chef Jeremy is going to be showing off uh, our latest professional ranges right. uh, with uh, both our, our griddles, our char grills. These are beautiful, I have to yeah, say, they, in terms of the, the look of them, the style yeah. is fantastic. But it, the important thing about this product is that it's a highly approachable product, okay. uh, so that it really makes your cooking process uh, and the results uh, much easier than one would normally expect. Okay. And this gives you great passion. I mean, just working on these products gives you great passion yeah. uh, for cooking. Kind of makes me want to be a little bit of a chef now. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll see what I can learn from Jeremy. Thank you so much, Robert. Excellent. Appreciate nice it. Meeting you. <laughs> All right, everyone. We want to turn things around now to Jeremy, who is Bravo's top chef winner. Hi, How good morning. How cool is that? That is pretty cool stuff, Jeremy. It's pretty cool. It's pretty hard, too. <laughs> oh, yeah? I'm not going to lie, yeah. Oh, you make it look so easy. A little tough. Okay. Well, on this, on this setup, it actually yes. feels like I'm in a professional kitchen. So since I've been working and prepping here, it's been outstanding. It's been amazing. So oh, good. I'm going to take this home with me. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll have to replace it with, with another one. Um, but tell us what you're making here today. So, um, you know, there's a million and one ways to do guacamole. Um, this is a really cool, interesting... Uh, variation that Jean Georges does in New York and kind of went nationally uh, spread. So, okay. no one ever think to use sweet peas with guacamole. So, we'll get right to it. Yes. I'm actually gonna put you at work today. I know you weren't like planning on it, but now, if, if, if our, our viewers on Daybreak know that cooking is like my strength. <laughs> You're gonna oh, torch really? those chilies over there. <laughs> okay. Just burn the outside. Okay. So. Chris, uh, get right the fire extinguisher just in case. Yeah, get it right. Yes, chef. Yeah, so what you're doing is you're actually getting you're a little bit darker. You want to actually darker, burn okay. the skin off. Oh, okay. And once you get to this color uh -huh. right here, this is what you're looking for. Yeah, a little bit more. I'm so gentle with it. I don't know. You're good. You're good. This you're doing great. Stuff, Jerry, I'll give you a job <laughs> maybe in the prep kitchen. We'll see. So Sarah's making it easy for me. I feel like I'm So now it's burnt. Okay. okay. Good. Now before you burn yourself, I'll yeah. take that away. Thank you. Um, so so what, what we do, the reason we do that, so like we pull all the skin off and we actually have um, just the flavor of the chili without that like skin that gets stuck in your teeth. Okay. So we take all this and we wipe it off with a towel Okay. and it literally removes the skin. Oh, very nice. You see that? Okay. So one of the jobs it's like least likes in the kitchen. Wow. That does look easy. Yeah. Okay. So then once we get it there. We're going to make it spicy. spicy we're going to make it spicy. Away. Um, and you gotta have good uh, avocados. You can't use underripe or overly ripe avocados. Okay. 
So we took avocados and a whisk. I know these two combos doesn't usually work, but uh -huh. today this is how we kind of mash it. So it's a rustic mash. I want it too fine, you know? So aside from the guacamole, we also have a couple of other things you're going to be preparing today for Home Fest for the viewers that are coming down. Yeah, we, um, so on the show I was kind of known for crudos, so I brought my, uh, my crudo game strong. Uh, so we're doing a really cool shade snapper with some local fish. It was beautiful, uh, caught yesterday. Okay. Um, we broke it down, it's super fresh. Um, served out with some crispy rice and green chilies. And then we're also doing a ham fritter with cheese. Okay. Yeah. Well, we do have to turn it over to a break right now, but I'm really excited to taste some of this food. Guacamole first. I got here first. Sorry, viewers. Um, we'll take a break and we'll be right, right back. Thanks, Jeremy. Thank you. Oh, yeah. All right. So you couldn't be here by yourself at the Tony's end of the show. Tony's catching the party. <laughs> She's trying to get in on the guacamole. She's trying to get in our guac game? <laughs> yeah, she is. Like I told you earlier, we love guacamole on set here. I think we've made it once before, and then we just yes. constantly talk about it. This we is do. a good one. Mm -hmm. so it's tasting this, good. It's going to taste better than Tony's. We're not sure. Oh, am, am I being tested right now? You are. Yeah, you are. You are being tested. Yeah. Your, your title is, you know, on, on line right now. <laughs> yeah, on the line, exactly. So you have to trust me, the peas are going to be good in here. So okay. sweet peas and charred jalapeno, you get sweetness from the peas and the heat from the jalapeno. Okay. It's really interesting. That sounds mm, good. I'm excited about and this. And are you going to put some cilantro in there? I already did. Oh, you okay. weren't you were paying attention. I was. <laughs> I'm so busy smelling it and waiting to eat it. Well, the thing is, Janelle it. loves cilantro. Uh, I yeah, do too. Loves cilantro. People tell me like they're allergic or they don't like it. I'm like, it's impossible. You guys that's are like, how I feel about that's cilantro. You guys are just not. That's actually like, how I really feel about it. <laughs> this, is how we, this is how we serve the restaurant. Oh, one that's there. very nice. Oh, it's pretty. So, Jeremy, that's... tell us one last time how excited you are to be here in Cayman. Have you been to Cayman before? Yes, I have been. Okay. Um, it's one of my favorite places to be. So when I got this opportunity, I was super stoked. Yeah. Very happy. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Good. What was your favorite thing to do last time you came down Home Fest? Uh, Stingray, Stingray Island City. Thing? Yeah. That was Stingray killer. City. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna awesome. give this a try. Okay, you All do right. it. Mm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I was a little squeeze of fresh lime to oh, finish her yeah. off. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. So you missed out. So, <laughs> so while Tony's eating, mm -hmm. um, we would like to, you know, invite everyone down again here to Home Fest. Remember, they are open until eight o'clock tonight here at the Georgetown location of Al Thompson's. You can also come by between the hours of seven o'clock and six o'clock tomorrow. Um, there's a ton to see. Ton, um, so much. We're already kind of stuffing things in our carts here. Um, you've got appliances and you've got everything in between. We talked to Valspar as well uh, for um, their paint products earlier on the show. Um, and we know that that's a big part of making your home feel nice as well. And KitchenAid, first thing in the morning, coffee. Talk to Miguel. He's here. He's happy to answer all your questions. They've got great appliances, great offers. Come on down to Home Fest. Mm. We're going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try this again. Mm -hmm. All right. Hi. So, um, also before we go, I want to talk a little bit about your career as a chef because. Uh oh. Now I'm inspired. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so tell us how long have you been cooking? Fifteen years. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and Fifteen lovely years of like easy forty-hour work uh, week, uh, work weeks. Nice. Yeah. No long days. Um, Super easy. So yeah. how did you become top chef? Like, what was that like? Um. So you know, I applied like everybody else. I uh, got the call and was nervous as all could be, and, mm. and then uh, went on there and just stayed true to who I am. You know, it's it's, it's one of those things where like. If you try to be something you're not, or do a certain style of food you're not comfortable with, you're gonna find yourself eliminated. So, right. um, about halfway through, I started gaining some confidence, and then quickly learned that it could go from amazing to <laughs> getting One kicked of my off very quickly. Things yeah. about these shows is the drama, and you know how everybody talks when they do their recap of what happened and what they're yeah. expecting. What was that like? For me, I never said anything bad about anybody. So. I, I, held, I held my mouth very, very like <laughs> professional. Yeah. Um, because I feel like it's, it's it feels careers are damaging too, mm -hmm. you know. So it's like I always say great things about everybody. Yeah. Right. So it was a lot of fun. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I had a good. I was a good season. Yes. Yeah. Well, congratulations again. Thank you for being here with us it's on daybreak. Yes. You for Thank um, you for making us guacamole. Yes. yes. We're gonna be fed this morning. And I have I have um, to go box here for you. Uh, nice. <laughs> we need that. Okay, guys, thank you for watching as well at home. Um, like we said, Home Fest is happening all day today, all day tomorrow. Come down and see um, all the good stuff they have here at Ale Thompson. We have a bunch of good food coming up. Yeah, Bye, guys. Yep. Thank you. See you next time. <laughs>